Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Shutter. I'm Camchak Fisco. Come join me for an interesting horror game. Oh! Okay. Got a photo of the ghost. What's your dispute now, buddy? You know, that actually does look like a ghost. Kind of That actually does kind of look like a ghost, like a floating dress or something. It can't be, though, right? Barry, you are a skeptical moron! The engineers are obsessed with finding out if this is actually a ghost. They're working on a new update for some for you. A new update just for you, something called Spectral Vision. Give us a few minutes. Sure. I don't have anything better to do. What is moving? No, 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 no power loss. No power loss, you douche. No power loss. Screw you. Damn it. All right, jackass, let's get this over with. Steal my power, you douche. Can I go back and get my power now? No. Nope, we've got to do something first. Okay, what are we doing in here? What's the... Okay, there's... okay, here we go. So... That is... what is that? I can't tell. That's one of the rooms. I think it's the kitchen. Okay, let's, let's go investigate the kitchen. Kitchen, is it you? Is there a note in the kitchen now, yo? Kitchen? Kitchen? Is there a note in kitchen? Kitchen? Kit kitchen? Hmm. Maybe this room. Um. I don't know. I uh, is oh the shovel, right? We're looking for the shovel. I keep forgetting that. It's not a note. It's the shovel we're looking for because it keeps teleporting around. I don't know why I forgot that already. All right, where's this new thing? Outside. I don't know where outside, but outside. Got it. Zoom! Go, little dude! Yahoo! Speed demon! Wait, how do I get outside from here? Wasn't there like a door here? Oh, wait, no. It's the other way. Crap. There was a door over here. There it is. I'm outside now, yo. Quick. Okay, I heard you, but you didn't get me, so we would, um, about that? I don't know. Alright, back to the... Where the hell are we? Oh, shoot, we're in the, that area. I didn't want to go there. I want to go here. Ha-ha! Speed drone! Woohoo! Dang. This is this game's awesome. I actually enjoy it. Okay, bathroom, 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 bathroom. It's not spooky, but it's awesome. I love this. This is a cool game. I did not think it would be this entertaining. I honestly thought I was expecting a horror game, but it's so not. It's really cool. Clicky, clicky. Gotcha. Okay, now we can go through the power back on. Come on, little dude. Let's go. Yeah, speed demon. This little guy can go fast when he needs to. So far, there hasn't been a threat to the drone, really. So, all right, where's my email? Where's my new update? Two point one. Hopefully, here. Oh, here's the spectral vision upgrade I mentioned. Hopefully, this will prove whether or not this thing is a ghost. Time to do some ghost recon. Get a photo of the ghost. Could be worth a lot of money for us. A murder of crows. That can't be good. This is a cool game. I really like this. This is awesome! This is so much better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't know what to expect. I was expecting a horror game, but this is very cool. Whoa, that is freaky spectral vision, all right. It's like thermal vision now? Okay, so we opened the bathroom, so what are we... we just looking around for a ghosty now? Oh, we can't really see shit. Okay, she's not in there. That's still squeaking. Okay, so we're supposed to come outside. I see the crows. But... What do I do with that? Oh, a note! Cool. April 24th. I just got an achievement. Oh, so that's what happened. Okay, so this must be a revelation. April 24th, 1936. I'm, I'm not sure what to do. Oh, God, it all happened so fast. Those damn crows. The hell with them! They bought this... They... They brought they brought this. They brought him. I heard them outside causing a commotion and I wanted them and I just wanted them quiet, but when the lightning struck I saw it. I saw my place in the ground, a premonition. He was coming for me. I tried frantically to get back inside, but the doors had been blown shut. The whispers were piercing, perched atop my shoulders. I could hear him everywhere, but then I saw it. The shovel. He was coming towards me. Metal and bone. 
And then the body crumpled to the ground. Crumpling to the ground. He's still there now, silent. The whispers have stopped. They'll never believe me. They'll say it was my fault. I have to hide him. So somebody died? And you buried the body. That was a ghost crow. What the heck? Ghost crows! Oh, hello! There we go. Oh, damn it. Come on, up here. Up here. Up here. Up here, you bastard! It's gotta be when the lightning strikes. Got it. Got it! Explain this, buddy! Do I not want to let that thing get me this time, or what? I don't understand. Usually we have to let it get us. Okay, do I need to avoid it so I can actually get a photo of her? Get the photo. Got it. Okay, so we wanted to avoid it this time. Good, good, good. You're apparently looking enough at Barry because you suck. Well, we got the graveyard now. Can you see this yet? What happened to our lens? Our camera's got all wonkified. The shovel broke our camera! Poor little dude. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Hello. Go, little dude. <laughs> Woohoo! Catch me now, bitch! Speed demon! I gotta figure out where he's gonna spawn, get away from him, and then quickly snap a camera angle. It's not as easy as it sounds. Come on, get it! Kaya! Ah I got a photo of you, bitch! This is totally a ghost! Oh, that's totally a ghost! This photo is making me shudder. I need to show this to the crew. I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, well, thanks. I'll just stay here and die. Poor little drone's gonna get killed, you bastard. What the hell was in here? There's the skeleton that everybody thought she killed. Um. Did we just get locked in there for. Well, hello! Hi, miss. A stroll through the fog. She just locked up our poor drone! Poor little guy! What, now we're the person? Are you kidding me? Get into that house and retrieve the drone for us. It's worth more than your life. Oh, shut up, asshole. Oh, I got turned around. Dang it. And we can't really sprint for shit, either. Whoa! Hi! Okay. Now we've gotten into the horror element. Damn! That made me jump. Can I open some doors, please? Oh, no, the drone's out here. Whoa! Um, lady? Lady, can we talk about this? I didn't kill you, lady! Let's talk about this! It wasn't my fault! I wasn't even here! Lady! It wasn't me! Lady! Oh, shit. Lady! I didn't do it! It wasn't me! Whoa! What the frick was that? Fuck your drone, man! I'm out of here! Oh boy. It's creepy. Okay, this, this definitely delved into horror, okay? This, this went horror, yo. Oh, okay, so when she gets us, that happens. I got it now. It doesn't kill us, but it's creepy as hell. I can't even jump as a person. Great. Why was the drone able to jump? That seems kind of weird. Digging too deep. Achievement unlocked. What are you doing, dude? Dude, what are you doing? Oh, shit! So she relived murdering us. Oh, that is creepy. That was an awesome game. It was short, but it was really good. I like the story to that. That was really well done. And the horror isn't until the end. That was very interesting.
That was an excellent indie title. I highly recommend you guys play that. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that was... Damn, that was good. The graphics were good. The gameplay was good. It was a little wonky, but you had to get used to it. Once you did, it was it was well done. I'm actually going to... Actually, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my outro in a minute. I want to read the officer report, because we finished it. Officer's report. Constable Darren Bremley. Date of the incident, April 24th, 1936. Description of events. At 8.36 p.m. on the event, on the evening of April 24th, 1936, a woman by the name of Mary Hemsworth entered the police station looking noticeably distraught and panicked. The, she claimed her husband, Charles Hemsworth, had left the house the night after supper and had not returned. So it was her husband. After the further questioning, we were able to ascertain the following information. Charles had a history of erratic mood swings and would often leave the house to go for evening walks in the woods to clear his head, as he put it. However, he would always return to her a few hours later. There were also times where he would occasion she would occasionally wake in the middle of the night to find Charles missing. Although she was concerned, he was never injured and he always seemed noticeably calmer upon his return, so she saw no reason to alert anyone, as she had become accustomed to his absence, despite his lack of explanations to where he was. Their house was a small place in a fairly remote location of the Forest Hill. Next page. Actions taken. Immediately upon hearing the rendition of events from Mrs. Hemsworth, I traveled to the Forest Hill Road area to question a few surrounding residents. Upon arri arriving at 3193 Forest Hill Road, at approximately 10.30 p.m., I was greeted by the owner of the cabin, Mrs. Valerie, Valerie Collins. So Hemsworth didn't own the house, who had recently reported she was hearing strange sounds in her cabin? Or was that Miss Collins that we heard? Although I was unaware at the time that she was the owner and sole resident of the place. Okay, so the, lo the notes were from Miss Collins? I thought they were from Miss Hensworth. She promptly allowed me in. When I asked her about the disturbance she reported to us earlier, I saw what seemed like a mass smile. Then she started say, started, stated that she hadn't heard anything at all that night and had been reading peacefully since her dinner. When asked if she had seen anyone resembling Mr. Hemsworth, she quickly replied that, You're the first visitor here in months. I then asked Miss Collins if I could do a quick sweep of her property. She seemed hesitant at first, but then nodded quietly. As I searched the premises, she began to grow more and more uneasy. At points, became irritable. She began she began looking towards the front door, hoping that I would follow her lead. Upon entering the backyard, I observed what seemed to be a shovel with a dent in the bottom side of the metal portion. Before I was able to even, even able to question Miss Collins about it, she quickly spelled out the words, I hit a rock while I was gardening. As I left the cabin, Miss Collins said something ominous that seemed out of character. She stopped me by the arm and stared coldly into my eyes. All she said was, I hope you find him, Constable. The woods are so dark. You never know what could happen out there, what could be out there. So she's channeling the ghost of Miss Hemsworth. So that was Valerie Collins' journal. Other than some erratic behavior, I found no reason to bring Miss Collins in for questioning. Although I'm not completely ready to rule her out as a, uh, rule her out of the case altogether. At this point, the whereabouts of Miss Hemsworth, Miss Hemsworth are still unaccounted for. Follow up date: May second, nineteen forty-one. That's like years later. Wait, I gotta go back and wait. Oh, no, no, it was May 2nd, 1941. Oh, wait, no, 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 we can't... April 24th. Yeah, that's like a... That's like days later. No, it said April 4th, 1936. This is like five years later. Okay, I'm not crazy. That is five years later. Five years has passed... Oh, <laughs> I said it right there. I should have read the note. Five years have passed since the disappearance of Charles Hemsworth. After interviewing the surrounding residents of Forest Hill area, we've come to what seems to be a dead end in the case. From the interviews that we've held... We seem to be able to learn that almost all the residents have heard or witnessed what seems like a thin man lurking around the woods late at night, whispering to himself in a deep voice. Though no one was able to provide an accurate description of the person, many describe the figure to be about 5'8 to 5'10 in the height that, with a slim build, similar to Mr. Hemsworth. Many of, the, many of them often recalled seeing the figure moving towards the direction of 3193 Forest Hill Road as well. As we found no signs of the struggle in 39, 3193, we've been forced to rule it out as a possible location of Mr. Hemsworth's disappearance. The widow of the victim, Mary Hemsworth, actually seems to be adjusting well to the loss of her husband, and was noticeably happier when we interviewed her last night, stating that life goes on, I guess. Wait, so were the notes from her or the new lady? I'm confused. I thought they were from Mary. Although he is currently presumed to be deceased, in the case of the disappearance of Mr. Charles Hemsworth, is still open to being investigated. Back to me. Um, let me load a chapter real quick, just so I can actually look at my notes. I swear the notes were from Miss Hemsworth, not the new lady, Miss Collins. Archives. Okay, that doesn't say who it is. Okay, the notes don't say which one it was, but they're 36, so they've got to be the wife. So the crows and a ghost somehow caused her to murder her husband, or at least find his body? I don't... 
And then this road, okay, yeah, she came back and... Alright, so, what, a ghost made Miss Hemsworth kill her husband? Or at least hide the body? And then the new woman that moved in was being possessed by her, so... Freaky. Awesome job, Cosmic Light. That was a good story. You guys should definitely do more. It says next mission? Raven Shield Assignment Confidential. Kent Island Prison. Surveillance photos. What? Wait, is there more to this game? Is there additional content? So there's a prison. Back to page. Wait, I'm gonna read this in case this actually is more to the story. If it is, that's cool. It's a second chapter. Or a second part. Kent Island Prison, east of Baltimore. Built in 1946 on top of an old stone prison facility dated around the 1600s, Kent Island Prison was modernized and updated to alleviate the pressure from an overcrowded mainland prison system. With so many people aimless and jobless after the war ended, as well as the astounding increase of access to firearms, crime became an acceptable alternative to many. Essentially, only the most dangerous serial killers, mentally insane, rapists, etc., were shipped to this island as they were least likely to ever receive parole, not to mention this would keep them from ever having a chance to escape back to into society. As well as most of them sentenced to, were sentenced to death, and this is where Baltimore decided that 95% of their executions were to be taken place. Oh great, so we've got a bunch of dead psychopath ghosts running around. Wonderful. Prisoners were actually taken by boat to Poplar Island, a small peninsula located just south of Kent Island. But the ferry actually left from Kent Island. When voting the name of the, for the prison, the city of Baltimore felt that Poplar Island Prison actually sounded too whimsical, and opted instead for the much more severe sounding Kent Island Prison. Okay. The prison facilities were located in the southwest point of Poplar Island. Rather than having correctional officers travel daily by boat to an island, the city the Baltimore opted the city of Baltimore opted instead of construct a small community of houses and other amenities for the guards on a small island just east of Southern Point. Okay, was that sentence written right? Because that didn't sound right. Couch's Island, Coach's Island, was also nicknamed Warden's Point. Little, a little known fact about this was that the city of Baltimore discreetly and almost exclusively hired young men in their 20s and 30s to ensure the guards were more attentive to their duties, as they were not likely to have families, thereby limiting their need to leave the island and return to home for an extended period of time. To ensure the safety and comfort of the guard, a small tract of land was built between two islands to connect, two, to connect the two, complete with reinforced metal gates and sniper towers on either end. The pathway was later named Raven's Pass due to the excessive amount of ravens inhabiting the surrounding forest. Wait, so was the ghost that murdered her husband from the escape prison? Let's find out. Guards were heard describing it... Guards were heard in describe, to describe and simply as deafening. Suffice it to say, prisoners had almost no interest in approaching the warden's point as they were much safer in the prison, which is a scary thought. Wow, there's a lot of reading here. It is believed that the point of its creation, from the point of its creation to its eventual collapse, over 3,300 inmates died at Kent, prison, Kent Island Prison, with over 80% of those being carried out via the electric chair, 10% were came, of those came by hanging, and a small percentage was tallied through firing squad. Multiple fatality incidents over, were also rumored to be attributed to guard-related activities. However, when researchers looked into the matter of all these occurrences, were simply filed under accidental death. As at the name of the prison, the name of the prisoner at the time of death, the cause of the death was mysteriously excluded from the paperwork, hence the creation of the accidental death category. <coughs> so the guards are probably killing people. Guards were notoriously violent on Kent Island and were trained as such. Dealing with the obviously dangerous individuals led many guards to extreme levels of conflict resolution, as it was commonly referred to. Savagery may be a more accurate term. Yeah, it sounds like it. Prisoners were often starved and sent to solitude without any, without due cause. They were also routinely assaulted and were commonly beaten to the point of disability, both physically and mentally. Holy shit. Sometimes they were outright killed. For many of those sentenced to death, a mental handicap could be seen as a small relief as at least they were no longer constantly aware of their inevitable execution. That's not better, bro! These prisoners were sent to the psych ward for further treatment and rehabilitation, although rehabilitation simply meant a straitjacket and a padded cell. For many of the guards who were unable to rise to the level of conflict resolution, the psych ward became a permanent stay for them as well. Cute. The stress of not only dealing with the criminally insane, but also their intensely, viol intensely violent co-workers as well, could occasionally result in mental and emotional breakdown coupled with uncontrollable violent outbursts as the, of their own. One of these officers even turned on a fellow guard or prison employee, that if if one of the guards, okay, they were automatically sent to the psych ward for a minimum period of one month. Many of them never returned to duty. Lovely. 
1971, shortly after the 25th anniversary of Kent Island Prison, a volatile situation that go both guard and inmate had been living in a for the past two decades resulted in one of the worst prison riots in American history. Over 300 inmates and 62 guards fell victim to the riot, and the entire cell block, cell block C, burned down during the altercation. Damn. Upon the resulting federal and media investigation into the infamous riot, the important conditions of the system were brought into light, and within months the complex was completely shut down, and all remaining facilities were transported by correction, transported to correctional facilities, facilities or mental wards appropriately across the eastern coast of the United States. The correction officers and employees alike who were stationed on the Warden's Point also abandoned their living facilities and returned to the mainland to search for new employment. In their exodus, the small island was left heavily vandalized and stripped of almost all valuables. Whatever wouldn't fit on the departing ships was left for the forest to, forest to reclaim. Though the prison was still completely habitable, the stain of, the pr of Kent Island Prison left it so dark that the surrounding villages and towns all but claimed the island to be forever contaminated. So the island was almost completely secluded for over three decades. Wait, there was nearby village, villages and towns on the island? That makes it sound like they were on the island with the prison, not near the island on the mainland. That, I'm not sure. In early 2000s, a coal mining company, Black Rock Industries, discovered a small deposit of coal and subsequently created a mine in the south shore close to the site of the abandoned prison. They then purchased the island at an extremely discounted price. However, in 2010, after a slow process of building the processing plant, on the island, the employees of the company mounted a protest against the idea of living on the island next to Kent Island Prison, stating various reasons such as mental and physical health violations, even though they had not set foot on the island. Uh, yeah, would you want to live on a prison island that had all this shit go down? This resulted in further complications and delays in construction of both mining facilities and the, constructing and the surrounding community for the workers. I can't read. As they are legally responsible for the safety and security of the island, and any employee currently residing on the island, BlackRock Industries has contracted a small security company, Raven Shield Securities. Wait, that's us. To maintain watch over Kent Island facility, prison facility to ensure vandals, etc., cannot do structural. I, oh, structural slash facade damage to the building until they are able to procure proper legal documents to demolish the facility properly. Raven Shield Securities is the only company to accept the Kent Island prison contract. In fact, they were the only company to even review it. Wow. Okay, so that's the file. Can we... Is this the next game that's going to come out? That's actually really cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into that. If that's actually a sequel they're working on, I'm definitely going to play it. So, my personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy them. So, take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, come up with a video on the list, or stay tuned for the next series. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.